guys I hope that everybody's doing all right just while I have a few moments to talk to you guys I just wanted to check in and tell you guys that especially while we're in these last days and these last times God's word is God's word and God is not playing we are not to contort and and mold the scriptures into what we want them to say and what fits our life and our lifestyles you know I've been reading a lot in the in the in Jeremiah and in Zephaniah and in Isaiah and when God told you to do something and when he told his people to do something and him when he said to be obedient he meant to be obedient he didn't mean to misconstrue the salvation of Jesus you know what Jesus went through, the resurrection, the salvation that we received from Jesus' resurrection to do and to go and to be what you want to be. If you need to repent, you need to repent. If you need to turn away from your sin, you need to turn away from your sin. It does not give you the permission to do what you want to do and sin the way that you want to sin and, and you're saved, you know? The Bible clearly says, clearly says what you are to do in your life and who you are to be in your life. And I'm going to really dive into scriptures in the next couple of videos because God is leading me to tell his people what the truth is of his word. And he's not playing. He means what he said in his word. He means what he said in his word. And God is angry. God is angry at his people for what he, for what they have done to him for the just the total mess that the world is in today that's the nice word i'm going to put you know you cannot get on here and tell and lead people in the wrong way that is not what we are here for yes we for his children he reserves his special favor his special blessings yes but all of us can receive that as long as we do what he says, as long as we do what the word says, as long as we are doing what the word says, not just saying it, you know? And it is so important, so important for you to get a prayer life, for you to talk to God. There is no perfect or right way to pray. Just invite the Holy Spirit in your environment and in your heart and you just talk to God. I still, whatever that right way to pray is, I never learned it. I just talk to God. I come to him as I am. I come to him what's on my heart. And he speaks to me. He talks to me through everything, through all circumstances, everything that's happening in my life. He speaks to me. And when he says you've got to put away that sin and whatever is hindering you from getting close to God, you need to put it away. You need to put it away and stop playing with God. You need to stop playing with God. He's not playing. He's not playing with you. He's not playing with any of us. God loves you, yes. And that's why God told me to stop praying for people that are not going to repent to him, that are unrepentant in their heart. You know, that I'm standing in the way. That God has to put them through whatever he needs to put them through in order to be in him, in order to submit to him whatever that might be and whatever comes upon them they have to endure that they have to endure that i can't stand in the way it's just like when when um when samuel when he told samuel to stop mourning stop stop mourning over saul i've already rejected him pick up your horn and go anoint the person that i've called i have somebody else in mind god is not playing <laughs> you know he's not playing don't be sorry for these people. They're, they're, they're totally wicked. They've turned away from God. Their hearts have turned away from God. And you don't need to be praying for them. Unless God, of course, told you you need to be praying a specific prayer for them. But just to be standing, oh God, please. You know, you know if, they've been, if they rebelled against God, you let God deal with them. You let God handle them the way that he wants to. And you continue in him the way that he's calling you to go. And in your in, in the will he's calling you to go. And in your calling. 
You know, we all want to be chosen ones. I hear that word all the time. Chosen ones, chosen ones, chosen ones, chosen ones. But to be a chosen one, you've got to go through some things. You've got to really submit to the word of God and you've, you've got to really be walking that way. And when you walk that way, you're not going to be living in willful sin anymore. You're not going to be sinning willfully anymore. You're going to be doing what the, what the Lord wants you to do, what the Lord is calling you to do. That's what you're going to be doing. God is not playing. God is not playing. It doesn't matter who you are. God is not playing with you. You need to repent. You need to turn away from those sins. You need to get in this word, which I'm pointing to my Bible down here because I've got my Bible in my lap. You need to get in his word and you really need to study and show yourself approved and do it. Because especially in today's world, there are so many demons running around here. You got to know who to deal with, who you're dealing with, how to deal with them. You got to have the discernment and the wisdom of God to deal with these people in this world. There's just a bunch of demons running around here. There really is. Wolves in sheep's clothing. Even, even the people that are claiming to be in God. They're wolves in sheep's clothing. A lot of them are. We are in the last days, y'all. We are in the last times. It is time for us to get it together. We've got to get it together now. You're either going to be for God or you're not. Choose. Choose life and prosperity or choose death and destruction. That's in God's words too. God's word too in Deuteronomy. That's scripture. You make your choice. God gives you that choice. He's not going to force himself upon you. You make the choice. He is not playing. So my next few videos are going to be diving deep into scripture because God is just really pouring into my heart what I need to say to his people, <laughs> you know, because he's just not playing around anymore. He never was playing around, put it that way. But it, it is really, you need to really, God is angry. God is angry. You know, and those of us that are doing right and are trying to do right and calling out to God, you need to choose. You need to choose. You can't just call upon God when things aren't going your way. You've got to actually be walking the walk, not just talking the talk. You need to walk the walk. You need to. Get into God's word. Get into scripture. Read his word. It is your guide to your life. The written word. Don't believe in these devils and these demons trying to misconstrue you in any and every way because they have a secret agenda. It's Satan, it's Satan's agenda behind it all. Wolves in sheep's clothing. So, I love y'all. Please get into his word. Please get a prayer life. Please stop playing around with God and really show yourself approved. You know, I love y'all. I hope y'all have a good day. Bye.